hello from me and this bag of rice. We're gonna make some art with rice today. This would make a fun purse, wouldn't it? These little sacks are so cute. Not only are we making art with rice, we have these lovely little coffee beans as well. Actually, we're gonna need it to be like this in liquid form. I've been on TikTok lately and I've been seeing this trend circulate to where you make a fantasy map out of rice and sometimes people use coffee beans. I have this coffee and I have some more coffee, very strong coffee. I'm actually going to do my own spin on this. Maybe it's already been done because everything on the internet pretty much has. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use rice and coffee to make a fantasy map in my own way. I'm going to take this coffee here and make this paper look old. Something that I would really love to do is make this fairly blotchy just to add some age to it. And actually, if you have like some coffee grounds too, I think a little bit of grounds would make this look sweet. But I don't feel like doing that, so I'm not. This is a really cool way to use up like coffee at the bottom of your pot or in your French press or just whatever. I'm just gonna do this a little bit. I think that will make it look cool. Friends, we have a dry piece of paper. We are about to make a map. I like how this piece of paper is not perfect either. The blotches are subtle, but they worked out. And I think that will add some interest to our map. So let's take this rice and basically you're just supposed to dump it. And then wherever it lands, we will just outline it. Am I doing this right? I don't know. Oh yeah. I'm getting brave. I feel like, I don't know. Is this extra? I'm just gonna like give this a little randomized shake too. And then, yeah. I moved some pieces. I'm redoing this. What? It kind of looks like, I'm seeing like, North America over there and I can't. Okay. This is supposed to be a fantasy map. Sorry, just wanted to be transparent with you folks. I am redoing this. Okay, again, again. What are we doing? I have a few markers here. I don't know. This is an adventure. Okay, I think I'll just start down here. You know, you can also dump coffee beans if you don't want to do rice. It's up to you. This is just what looked cool to me. I was inspired from the TikToks. Oh my word. Oh, I think I spot like a little lake right here. Kind of hard to see, but there, a little lake. <laughs> oh, there's gonna be tons of islands. Ooh, this cute little straggler all the way out here. Ah, I keep bumping the rice. <laughs> wow, this is very islandy. It is stressing me out to have this just chilling here now. So these pieces, <gasps> oh no, sorry. I just keep bumping everything. I just need some space. Not gonna lie, I'm enjoying this, but there's a lot of chaotic energy with like rice grains everywhere. <laughs> I'm getting a little stressed out. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up this area a little bit. I did not realize. This would stress me out so much. Okay, so I'm gonna do this spot now. Honestly, this is a cool way to do art if you feel like moving your hands and creating something, just getting something out of your system and just making a picture 
but you maybe don't have the inspiration or you're indecisive, this is great. My goodness, it's stressing me out to not touch this rice though. I don't think this is supposed to be stressful, but I am struggle bus in here. Oh my goodness, okay, we need to do something. In theory, this is great, but the sensory experience here for me is like it's overstimulating. Wow, there's like a massive lake thing right here. I think that was because I bumped this, <laughs> honestly. Oh well, doesn't need to be perfect. That's why we literally are tracing a pile of rice. I'm just gonna clear a little bit of this away now that I have traced around it. Wow, that is sweet. Hey, we traced every grain of rice. That just reminded me I am supposed to make rice with my dinner. I need to go put rice in the rice cooker in a minute. Behold, our fantasy map. Let's go in and add some details to it. There are a lot of islands on here. Wow, I wonder if this is like, I don't know. I always feel like in my mind, I need to make some like backstory. Do you feel that way when you create something? of this type. I don't think this is a map for humans. I feel like elves live here. Little woodland elves. Mostly because I play Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know if you guys know that, but I do. I'm a woodland elf and my character is an alchemist. Her name is Mihi Hifison. I think for the edges of all the land, I would like to do little like dashed lines. I think it makes it look cool. I think I need a different marker. Don't know how this thing is still kicking, but it's a good one. Oh my goodness, I have to move that coffee. Oh, all of these little pieces and bits. Okay, oh, rice, oh, too much stuff. No more rice. I'm being haunted now by rice. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna switch fine liners as I feel like it. I kind of like them all, you know? <laughs> yeah, I kind of thought this wouldn't take a long time because it's like tracing rice. No, it's gonna take a long time. That's okay. Wow, this looks sweet so far. I really like the little dashes of marker to make things look more vintage. Let me be honest for a second. If I did this without dropping rice or coffee beans or whatever on this map, I do not think it would be this intricate. <laughs> I just think the edges of all the continents and islands are so unique and interesting because of all these grains of rice. I think had I just made this up myself without implementing that technique, the edges of the land would be a lot less bumpy, more smooth and less interesting. Now the part I have been eagerly waiting for is yeah, adding mountains and trees and all this fun stuff. This was the part where I felt like my imagination could run wild I was imagining like people and creatures living at these places. And you know, if I were a little creature or an elf or whatever living on this land, where would I wanna live? What would I want to be around me? So yeah, I kind of thought about that. I also had D&D &D on my mind because we recently watched the new Dungeons and Dragons movie. So you may see some things on this map that are kind of like, D&D-ish. <laughs> so that leads me to the comment of the day. Who plays Dungeons and Dragons? If you play, tell me about your character. I wanna know. But anyway, I 
think I would definitely do this again. One thing that caught me by surprise is how long it takes to make a fantasy map. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've done this in the past, not like this technique, but I did not make it this detailed and it did not take very long. <laughs> so that was cool. I really like how this just uses random things in your house to make art. Like I didn't even need watercolor. I didn't need ink. I just used coffee and you could just use a ballpoint pen in your junk drawer to trace everything if you wanted to. So that was really fun using household things. Guess what? The map is done. This took a couple hours and after I traced everything with this fine liner, actually several fine liners, I felt like I was catching vision for what I wanted. So it's kind of really a fantasy map. So as I mentioned earlier and in other videos, my husband and I love playing D&D together. We have a group of friends that we play with. So I kind of embraced a little bit of D&D with just a little bit of things that I wanted to incorporate. Anyway, we were talking about how cool it would be to do like a one shot or something with a homemade map like this. But this one here, I think it's actually gonna be a gift for somebody, so that's exciting. So I have some cool things on this map. So I have this area here, which is whale crossing, and I'm just imagining like tons of giant whales coming in through here. Over here is the deserted sea. I thought, you know, this whole section kind of looks scary, like you don't know what's out there. So I embraced that. I drew some giant waves for it. Then I have a lighthouse over here because there's another ocean. I did not name it actually, but that's okay. Here's Berry Island because I just planted a strawberry patch in my own garden and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to have a giant island that just grows strawberries? Here's Elevated Spell Academy. This came about from a happy accident. I was going to name it Elven Mountains, but then I accidentally put E-L-E -E instead of E-L-V. <laughs> and I was like, well, this is elevated land. Let's do an elevated spell academy. So I have this little castle with a bridge. That's how you can pivot, folks. Now, here is Bard Farms. I just thought, you know, we needed some farmland and I thought it would be comical to have a bunch of bards running the farmland. This is the Forgotten Forest and I bet you there's some scary things in there. This would not be a Mirabiler map without some Victorian gardens. So you know I would be on this whole continent here. There's mushroom meadows, Victorian gardens. Yeah, I would be living somewhere over here. Oh, and I did also make up for my little happy accident by putting elven hills down here because I did have all these hills drawn around the mountains. So I added a couple more and I figured, you know, maybe the elves kind of like protect the academy or something. I don't know. Use your imagination. <laughs> to think this all started out with some coffee and some rice. Amazing. It's kind of cool to take unconventional objects and see how that can spark your imagination. And I think that is why this TikTok, Instagram reels, whatever trend really spoke to me. I just, I noticed that they kept showing up more and more on my For You page <laughs> because I kept like interacting with them and favoriting them and stuff. So it was time to make my own. I'm not sure who started this trend, but it was not me. So credits to whoever started this. I don't know how to find that at this point because there's so many videos out there with people trying this at this point. So yeah, if you know who started it, feel free to let me know in the comments. I would like to credit them. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me, making some fun fantasy art. If you want to see more weird stuff like this from time to time, let me know. I've been working on tons of paintings behind the scenes that I will finally show you soon. But these kinds of things are like a fun break from that and a nice shift in my thinking, I guess. 
So yeah, if you're new to the art family, welcome. It's good to have you here. Feel free to introduce yourself down below and tell me what kind of stuff you like creating. Thanks for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye.